Okay, good afternoon everyone. Bruchem Abayim to the Kol Agad Perka Monday National Shir. This year, this week is going to be a very brief shir. And then next week uh, we have a break. Perak Chaf Gimel, Pasuk Gimel and Dalid. We have a Pasuk by Mamzer. Lo Yavai Mamzer Bekal Hashem. Gam Dor Asiri Lo Yavai Lo Bekal Hashem. A Mamzer should not enter the community. Even the tenth generation should not enter into the community of God. Then it says again, Lo Yavai Amoni Umayavi Bekal Hashem. Gam Dor Asiri. Why does it say even the tenth generation? What, what difference does it make whether it's the tenth generation or any other generation? Of what relevance is it? What generation is it? Why does it matter whether it's the tenth generation or the twentieth generation or the fiftieth generation? What difference does it make? So, this question is attributed to Reb Laibish Kharif. Uh, this is brought in the Sefer Tiv HaParsha. It's quoted in the Sefer Pitpume Da'iraisa in Koivetz Gilyone Shari Tzion in the name of Reb Ari Leib Tzins. And in the Sefer Lachsitz Benayim Hashem, it's also brought in the name of Reb Leibish Charif. The question being, why does it say even the 10th generation? What do you mean even the 10th generation? Of what relevance is it even the 10th generation? So the answer that's given is very interesting. The answer that's given is because if you have an Amoini that married a Bas Yisrael, okay, so you have a guy from Amoin that married a Jewish woman, the Dor Rishain will be a half an Amoini. Okay? The Dor Shani will be an a, quarter, a quarter of an Amoini. The Dor Shlishi will be an eighth of an Amoini. The Dar Ravi will be a 16th. The Dar Chamishi, a 32nd. The Dar Shishi, 164th. The Dar Shavi, 128th. The Dar Shemini, 1256th. The Dar Tashi, the 512th. And the 10th generation will be 1 out of 1024. So let's think about it. The 10th generation is really one part Amoini to over a thousand part Yisrael. Now, usually there's a principle, even though when it comes to Isr uh, Beheter, a Dover Yavesh is Mispatel Chad Betray. A Dover Yavesh is Mispatel Chad Betray. But Bibishal, if it's a Dover Lach, Min Bisheinoi Minoi, is batal b'shishim. But there are some things that are not even batal b'elef. There's an idea a beria is not even batal b'elef. However, that's the opinion of the Bavli. The opinion of the Yushalmi is that a beria is batal one in one nine hundred and sixty. Tat kas. According to Yushalmi in Shumais, a beria is batal in one nine hundred and sixtieth. So therefore, says Rab Laibish Kharif or Rab Ari Leib since you would have thought that the 10th generation Mamzer is only one out of 1,024 part Mamzer. So you would think it's Batal Ba'elef. Even though the Bavli holds it's not Batal Ba'elef, the Yushami holds it's Batal Ba'elef. So according to the Yushami, you would have thought that the Dar Asiri is Mutter. So therefore the Torah has to emphasize Gam Dar Asiri La Yavoy Lahem Bekal Hashem Ad Oilam. So that's what is attributed to Rab Leibish Charif and Rab Arya Leibzins. However, in the Sefer Rishima Shnais Dar, they bring that there's another version of what Rab Leibish Charif's question was. Because Yushalmi asks, how do you know maybe a Amoini is Aser for ten generations? How do you know that it's Aser La'olam. Because, listen carefully, by, by Mamzer it says, La'yavai gam dar asiri la'yavai b'kal Hashem. Okay, maybe the 10th generation can't come b'kal Hashem. But the 11th could. Maybe the 11th could, the Yushami asks. How do you know by a Mamzer it says the 10th can't? Well, maybe the 11th could. Well, the next passage it says, by Amoni Mayavi, gam dar asiri, 
Ad Oilam. So the Yishami says there's Xer Shava. It says Dar Asiri by Mamzer. It says Dar Asiri by Amunamayv. By Amunamayv, Dar Asiri is even Ad Oilam. So by Mamzer, also Dar Asiri is Ad Oilam. That's Yishami. So, Reb as as brought in the Sefer Rashima Shnar Starvadar, Reb Leibish Harif had the following question. Do we really need a Gzeir Shava? Bishlama, according to the Yushalmi, <coughs> I'm sorry, Bishlama, according to the Bavli, I need a Gzeir Shava. Because the Torah says, by the 10th generation. Okay, maybe not the 11th generation. There's no reason to assume not the 11th generation. There's no, there's no reason to assume all, that the 10th, if the Torah says the 10th is Aser, that the 11th is also Aser, so I need a Gzeir Shava. Because in logic, we wouldn't have, we don't even know why the Torah picked on the 10th generation to begin with. So if the Torah picked on the 10th generation, maybe it's picking on the 10th generation, but it wouldn't apply to the 11th generation. But according to the Yushalmi, that a barrier is Batal Ba'elef, so I understand why the Torah said even the 10th generation is La Yavai La Hashem, because you would think it's Batal Ba'elef. But once I know it's not Batal Ba'elef, so once I know the 10th generation is Asr, no reason to assume that the 11th and the 12th and the 13th are not Asr as well. So in other words, the, the uh, next level question, perhaps, of Reb uh, Leibish Harif is that why do I need Xer Shava to tell me that not only is the 10th generation Asr, but even the 11th is Asr? Bishlama, according to the Bavli, I wouldn't have thought the 10th was Mutter. So the Torah said the 10th is Asr. Well, maybe not the 10th. Maybe 11th is permitted. But according to Yushalmi, there's a very good reason why the Torah picked on the 10th because you would have thought the 10th is Mutter, because it's Batal be Tatkas, Kamash Malan, that it's Asr. Well, once it's Asr, I don't need a Shava to tell me even Ad Oilam. I think this is very relevant to this time of the year. There's a famous comment of the Bnei Yisachar. The Bnei Yisachar tells us that from Rosh Chodesh Elul until Yom Kippurim are 40 days. Are 40 days. These 40 days are, have 24 hours in each day. And uh, these, these 40 days have 960 hours to them. These 960 hours are metaher, somebody who travels through this time of the year, betat kas, because even though the Bavli holds that a Beria is not Batal Be'elef. The Yushami holds Beria is Batal Betatkas 960. This is what it means. Mikveh Yisrael Hashem. God is the Mikvah of Kla Yisrael. There are 960 Lugim in a Mikvah. The, the way a Mikvah works is it's Mevatel a Beria Betatkas. And these 40 days from Rosh Chodesh Elul until Yom Purim are 960 hours. And even though the Bavli holds that we're not, it's not Batal Be'elef, the Yushami holds it's Batal Betadkas. Says the Bnei Yisachar, the Gematria of Tishrei is 910. But if you also take the Nekudais of Tishrei, the Chirik under the Taf, the Shva under the Shin, the Tseirei under the Resh, a chirik is one dot, a shva is two dots, a resh is two dots, uh, a tsere is two dots, five dots, 960. Uh, f that's 50 plus 910. Tishrei equals the 960 lugim with which a beria is batal. So this is sort of marumas in the parsha. Why does the Torah have to tell us even the tenth generation is asar? Why would I think the tenth generation is mutter? The answer is I would have thought the tenth generation is mutter because going down ten generations, the iser, the impure lineage, would be batal be nine hundred and sixty, and therefore the Torah has to say it's asar anyway. But this is analogous to the forty days from Rosh Chodesh Elul until Yom Kippur, which is 960 hours, that just like a mikvah, whether you're ready or not, whether you're mechavin or not, 
even if somebody is pushed into a mikvah, they're tahar. Likewise, if somebody travels through these 40 days, ma mikvah metahres atmeim af hakadosh baruchu metahar es Yisrael. So that's just a uh, brief thought to leave you with. And Bez Hashem, we'll see everybody in two weeks. Okay? Take care, everyone. Zayt matzliach. Brach v'atzlacha. Kal tov. Amen. Thank you.